I have been uh, printing a lot and designing stuff. I'm currently working on sort of like a slot that you can fit this hard drive into. It's a little bit too tight so far. Oh, look at that, look at that. It is almost the perfect shape. And I'm kind of working on designing some sort of units and then have a Thunderbolt connector in the back or a cord and make it sort of like slide into it so that whenever I get to the office, I can just put this down, start working. I don't have to connect anything to the computer. That would be sick. I thought we'd do a little bit of a Q&A just to maintain the vlog channel a little bit because I still have a little, little, still have a little, little bit, a little bit of things that I need to do on the main channel before I can get back and go full force with, with the vlogs. If you don't know where I announce my q and it's usually on Instagram. Any plans on coming to France? Uh, maybe in the future. As of right now, no. What is your current opinion on DJI Vata? Did DJI fix all the problems of it fa falling? I think it's a great drone and uh, as for a beginner in FPV, there's probably not a better option right now. I've never experienced any issues with the DJI Vata falling out of the sky, so I don't know. Is the Sony a7 III worth it in 2023? I guess it all depends on what you're gonna use the camera for. I would say if you're gonna take photos, it's gonna be a great camera. If you're gonna do video, there's definitely better options. How do you get video ideas for YouTube? Is there any thought process behind it? Honestly, no. My mind is constantly working with trying to find sort of like an idea that I can do. And whenever someone mentions something that would be interesting, my mind instantly spins off of that and try to make, you know, 10 or 15 different ideas. How's the house plans going? Going great. We're waiting for the building permit. So as of right now, just a waiting game. Please tell us how you plan your shoot before shooting. For something like this or the vlogs, I don't plan anything at all. When I'm making, for example, a music video or poker b-roll, then I usually write down an entire shot list. What drives you? Oof, this is a tough question. So many things. But I'm gonna say life. You know, the possibility to learn and that it's a finite resource. You don't know if you're gonna wake up tomorrow. So I think that we might as well do the best we can today. Where do you live? In the city or on the countryside? As of right now, I live in the city, but the new house is gonna be on the countryside. Me and my girlfriend are thinking about moving to Sweden. What is it that you like the best there and why? What I like about Sweden the most is the fact that everyone has the right to everything. You know, we have a lot of social securities, which means that people that are less fortunate with their economy still have the possibility to get the same treatment in the hospital as anyone else. And I think that having sort of like a school system that we don't have to pay for is great for our kids. Sure, there's a lot of taxes that we pay, but I think that all in all, it's worth it because it goes to so many different good things. How often do you get this F this shit feeling and how do you get over it? I would say almost daily. You know, sometimes I sit here trying to record a video and I have absolutely no idea how things are gonna pan out and I feel like, you know what? F this shit, I'm not gonna keep doing. But then my mind kind of switch into a mode where it says like, you know, if you don't finish this, you're gonna be a loser. So you might as well finish it, even though it doesn't turn out the best work that you might have done, you still made it through. I think that that is sort of like what makes me go forward. Really struggling to get out of my comfort zone and start. Any advice, please? When it comes to starting out, it doesn't matter if it's guitar, if it's anyone, <laughs> anything else, you just have to do it unless you just want to do what you already have been doing for several years. I mean, like when, it, when I jumped from bodybuilding into camera and video and photography, I had no idea that I would be running a YouTube channel and running a business with my YouTube channel a couple of years later. I jumped in because I wanted to learn. I wanted to feel uncomfortable again to be able to practice on something that I had no clue about. And I think that the driving force, this is something that a lot of people underestimate. When you are in the beginning stages of learning something new, that is also where you have the most motivation to just keep pushing forward compared to someone that is already, you know, on the top of the mountain, because the only way down from mountain is down. Will we ever see a Peel Linger guitar page on Instagram? You know, there is this guy that is playing in a band called Opeth, who's called Peel Lindgren, so I guess there already is 
of you laying your page on Instagram. What interests not related to your professional career do you currently have? As of right now, I don't have anything else than this. I like being able to explore new things, you know, such as 3D printing, FPV drones, videography, different types of videography. Being able to have YouTube as sort of my job allows me to try different things without it taking a big hit personally, you know, because I can incorporate that into my work. When are you going to start making vlogs about 3D printing, gear slicers and that kind of stuff? Probably never gonna happen. I will make some videos on 3D printing, but making, you know, a new niche and go down that route, that's not gonna happen. I wanna try and maintain this channel as sort of like a wide aspect of just fun things that is going on together with P. Lindgren. What made you choose Final Cut over Resolve? Speed and availability. Air 2S or Mini 3 Pro, if you could only have one. Mini 3 Pro. Are you planning on making a movie? Nope. How to be more confident and sell yourself to potential clients. Think about your client and what it is that they want from you because they probably talk to you because they have absolutely no idea about the thing that you are doing and they want you to do that for them. So if you just say, like, hey, you know, I know my stuff and you hired me, so we're gonna make something awesome. Then that is probably gonna convince them to just like, okay, we're just gonna do it. But it's also gonna help if you have a lot of different portfolio things that you can already show them before going to the meeting. What happened to your Apple Ultra watch? It's a lot of questions about that. What is the biggest mistake that you made in YouTube video making career? It's actually saying yes to a product and sponsorship deal without actually testing out the product first. It is something that I do not recommend you to do. Whenever a company sends out a question and asks you to do a sort of like a brand deal and say, hey, we're dropping this new product. Is this something that you want to make a video on? Always try the product before deciding to make a video on it because Otherwise you have absolutely no clue about how the product performs. And in my case, it was worse than what I actually was using, but I still had to make a video because of the contractual agreements. That sucked. Would you consider shooting another music video in the future? I'm actually gonna do that on Monday. Is there a good amount of money to be made in the drone world if you're good? I have no idea. I'm not that good, but I think it's probably gonna pay well, just as any other job with someone that is good at their profession. That was it. Thank you for all the questions. I appreciate them. Hope everything's good and see you in the next one.